Hi, welcome to our how-to video series from Digital Yacht. Um, today we're going to be looking at our iNav Connect wireless router. Uh, and this video is actually applicable also to our new IK Connect router and our uh, router, the iNav Hub. So if you've got any uh, of those three units, um, then this video is for you. Um, what we're going to cover today is how to change the network name and the password of this because by default they go out with the um, the product name as the uh, as the wireless network name and also as the password so anyone who looks at one of the manuals online will quickly work out that those are the default uh, what the default password is and if they see your uh, wireless network in their marina they could connect to it um, so we recommend to all users all owners of our uh, wireless routers to change the SSID or the wireless network name and the password and I'm going to show you how to do that so you need to be connected to the router first so uh, let's just bring up the list of wireless networks and you can see that we're connected to iNav connect there um, then you need to open your browser I'm using Google Chrome which uh, is a browser of choice um, and the basically our iNav Connect um, uses uh, the same now uses the same IP address as our iNav Hub and our IK Connect uh, routers and that's 192.168.1.1 if um, uh, you can tell the latest uh, iNav connects um, because they have uh, two wireless antennas. So if you've got one of the older ones, which is with the one antenna, then you'll need to enter here 10.0.0.1. Um, and also you'll find that although the menus and the options are, are the same, uh, the style and the colours of the, the web pages is slightly different on those older units. But uh, let's, let's uh, bring up the web interface um, so this is the uh, login screen and this is this password will remain as iNav connect um, because the assumption is is that if somebody to get to this point they would actually need to be connected to your iNav connect so as long as you change the wireless password um, then they will never get to this login screen and we would recommend not changing this because it can make support a bit of an issue if uh, if you forget your password now to change the wireless password and the wireless network name we need to go to network and then Wi-Fi and now you'll see uh, the actual wireless network here is the SSID or the wireless name of the network is iNav Connect um, so we want to edit that and now we're into the edit screen and if we come down here you'll see there we go the extended SSID is iNav Connect so I'm going to change that to my boat name um, and of course you can substitute your boat's name into that um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend you all change it to my boat name and then let's just save so I'm going to not going to save and apply I'm just going to save that one so and you'll see up the top of the screen it will save say that there's some unsaved changes um, we'll save those in a minute uh, but we might as well do them all together because after you save it will actually reboot the router so you don't want to keep doing that so let's go to wireless security and this is where we enter our new password and I would recommend that you click these little arrows at the side which reveal the current password and then you can change that to um, let's say my password and once you've put in the password of your choice you can then click save and apply and that will save both this change um, and then apply all the changes that we've made so let's click save and apply and you'll see it's coming up applying changes waiting for the changes to be applied and like I say when a, when you make a change like this it does um, 
need to reboot the router and of course because we've changed the wireless network name Windows will no longer uh, be able to connect to it because it's, it, it will see it as a new router that it doesn't recognize um, so um, let's if you can actually physically see your iNav connect um, and the LEDs on it then you can see after it's uh, rebooted you'll see the LEDs come up um, if you if it's buried away somewhere then you'll just have to wait uh, say like it's probably about 20 to 30 seconds I guess um, you should if we close oh, let's, uh, yeah let's close Chrome and then there we go we see we're disconnected we're not connected to any wireless routers at the moment if we then do a scan we should see there we go my boat name and when I click on that and try and connect to it it's going to ask me for the new password so my password and then click next um, now this is quite useful if you, you've got a smart TV on the network or anything else that needs discoverable um, services then um, you can click yes to that um, and then hopefully that will connect to the iNav connect with its new name and new password takes a little bit longer than it normally does to because it's seeing it as a new uh, network which it's going to store the details of but after a short while always takes longer when you're watching it uh, it should store that information and tell us that we're connected there we go there we are we're connected uh, and you've now successfully secured your iNav connect and uh, and just need to let anyone in the family or friends that want to connect to it know the new password okay well thanks very much for listening if you've got any questions at all on this video or any of our other videos then please email us at support at digitalyacht.co.uk thanks very much for listening